All right, you already know by now we are interviewing the attendees of the upcoming Zelda Dungeon Informer Marathon, which starts on July 15th. Today we're talking to newcomer Fish, who you probably know from our Twitch channel, who streams almost every week. So anyway, here's the interview. Actually, what's been cool about interviewing the newcomers is people get to know them. I actually think a lot of people are who are familiar with our Twitch channel are probably already pretty familiar since you week weekly stream, correct? Yeah. I try to stream every week as I can. Sometimes life comes up and all that, but how I got to become a marathoner is from the Twitch channel because um, the people there were asking me sometimes, like, well, are you going to the marathon? I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'll ask. <laughs> that's awesome. So it was, that's awesome that that's how it worked out. Were you, were you brought on to be a Twitch person? Um, well, I was kind of part of ZD for a while, but not officially. Um, I got to know Zelda Dungeon through, let's see, I started watching in the 2014 marathon. Okay, okay. And then I, then I started hanging out with, in Blake's Twitch channel all the time, and then eventually I was on voice call with him when he did his Zelda Dungeon streams, and that was for a long time. After that, Mossy's put up the notice that he was looking for Twitch streamers, so I'm like, eh, let's do it. <laughs> That's cool. So it was like a, a natural progression into doing it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. I think people really seem to enjoy your streams, so I think people will really like you being at the marathon. Yeah, I hope so anyway. <laughs> so the, the 2014 marathon was the first one you watched, you said? So that was... Yeah, I may have watched 2013, but I don't remember it that well. I know 2014 is the first one I really watched. Okay, so of the past, that's been three years ago now. What drew you to the marathons? I just like to tell everyone just kind of veg together, and I like the friendly competition. Mm-hmm. And it just looked like a really fun time. Yeah. It's a bunch of friends hanging out playing Zelda for a good cause. Absolutely, yeah. Well, who wouldn't want to be a part of that? Who likes Zelda? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, let's do... Uh, what games are you playing this year? Just a brief rundown of them. I'm doing Link to the Past, okay. Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, um, Ocarina of Time Master Quest, Four Swords Adventures, Breath of the Wild, and Skyward Sword. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a lot, and the way the schedule is right now, I'm going to have an all uh, like a 24-hour, but that's okay. It'll be fun. Yeah, wow. It's not called a marathon for nothing. <laughs> Might as well go for it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're all games, games I enjoy, so that's even better. So what, okay, what of these games have you been working the hardest on? Because obviously you can't go hard on practicing for all of them. Yeah, for right now, um, I think Master Quest will be probably my main focus between now and Marathon. Yeah. And may have Swind Waker. Okay. I'm really not supposed to practice Wind Waker, but I might sneak in a couple of, like, practice this dungeon or something. Oh, yeah, because you're talking Something time- like that. Because your time is getting al- almost to the next tier race. Mm-hmm. And I was not, I was not really confident in myself to cut down an hour between then and the marathon. And I but, figured it'll be a little more chill for me if I do the lower tier race. <laughs> probably by if you come the next year, we'll probably have a huge Wind Waker race. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll uh, try my best for next year to be in the higher tier. So Master Quest uh, is that's gonna be exciting because I think yeah we I don't think we've raced that ever. No, nah, it's always been one person. And it's always been really low key in the morning, but yeah, some years we didn't even we just showed a little bit of it or something. Mm-hmm. So that's I think that was the case last year too. I can't remember if y'all did a full run or not. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't remember. Uh, who are you racing in, in that? I'm racing Benny and Locke. Okay, that's and both and both have excellent times, so it's gonna be a good race. Yeah, it's cool that that's going from not really being featured to now it's gonna be a pretty interesting race. Mm-hmm. And it's good for me because I really wanted to play Ocarina of Time. I've always wanted to race Ocarina of Time with you guys ever since I first watched you. Mossy's like, nope, you're too good. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll just play Master Quest. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, I mean, that's like even better though, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the sweet. Quest certainly has some stuff that's like, why? <laughs> Especially <laughs> yeah. like the cows in Jabu, for instance. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, I actually only just completed that earlier, like in February for the first time, but I, mm -hmm. I was actually like pretty surprised. Like, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was just going to be like so hard for the sake of being hard, but it was actually pretty cool. <laughs> some of the puzzles are really creative. Yeah. At the same time, some of the puzzles are mean. <laughs> oh, definitely. There were some that... Was and if like... you want to get 100%, Spirit Temple is not your friend. <laughs> oh, really? What's up with that? It's like in the Spirit Temple, for example, there's this one gold skulltula that you have to learn every single child song to get. <laughs> oh, wow. And you have to play play all these songs in order in different points of the room to get the door to open to get a skulltula. That's so... It's just that kind of thing. Have you done that? Because that's weird. I have. <laughs> okay, okay. I That's probably... That's so when I didn't really know the game that well, so I was like, I didn't know where anything was. So I was doing that anyway, hoping for a key or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a skeletal. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> that's something I can safely say that I will probably never do ever in my life. <laughs> yeah, do one for that. <laughs> um... Let's see. Okay, so what are what are games are you excited about playing in your huge list of games? Um, I'm interested to see how Twilight Princess is going to end up since it's kind of the Royal Rumble tier starting thing. Yeah, what? It's like I'm apparently I'm starting at the same time as Josh. Oh wow! So you're in the you're in the top top tier of that. Yeah, my time currently is seven fifty. So we'll see. Okay, well that's that's pretty exciting to start at the same time as Josh. And who knows, someone in the lower tier might improve their time by like two hours and completely demolish everyone. So yeah, it is kind of weird with the with the higher times. It's like hard to know hard to know like how much time you can shave off after practice. You know, after practicing it, because mm -hmm. so much of it is just knowing where to go at first before shaving off the little things. You know. Yeah, exactly. It's like once you know exactly where you're going, you can just optimize it from there. Yeah, definitely. So you think it's like, oh, I don't have to open this chest. There's only five bucks in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that... and I'll save you like ten seconds. <laughs> Even on my like third playthrough of that, I was like, I I was still unsure. Like, is this a stamp? I think this is a stamp. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a <laughs> <Yeah>. stamp. <laughs> it's a stamp. It's an angry link stamp, which is my current emotion. <laughs> that kind of thing. I'm more of a confused Midna. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so everyone's looking forward to that. I think that's going to be one of our mm -hmm. more exciting races. Uh, obviously, the Skyward Sword and uh, Breath of the Wild team yeah, races. Yeah, having teams will be really interesting. I think me, Locke, and Blake are going to do really well as a Breath of the Wild team. Okay. Because Locke will, Locke will tell me where to go, and I'll be like, okay, I'll just kill everything on the way there, gather stuff. <laughs> and Blake's like, can I play? I'm like, sure. <laughs> but you're going to be the one on the team for murdering everything? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, a good, that's a good spot to have. <laughs> as for Skyward Sword, I'm not sure what's going to happen. We don't really know our teams for that yet, so... Yeah, I kind of, I've kind of like how up in the air that one is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have you, well, you you play that one a lot on stream, so. Yeah, I played it recently on stream, so I have a kind of a refresher of how it goes, so it's good. <laughs> in preparation for Skyward Sword, someone was like, uh, "You don't even, don't even practice it," and I was like, "Oh, what?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Locke told me when I was first talking to him about being in the marathon. <laughs> He's yeah. like, you don't need to worry about Skyward Sword. It's really low key. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be, I think, pretty entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. Um. So in in my video with Kevin, he he said he was worried about you and a link to the past. He was worried about me. Yeah. He said your time is really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's so just three minutes above Blake's, and he's barred. So <laughs> I'll probably be barred for next year. Okay. Kevin is rightfully afraid of that. 
Yeah, I suppose so. Unless they do like the Mario Kart item things, I could really get screwed over, so. Either, yeah, well, either you get barred next year or next year we do a race of, you know, all. Yeah, that'd to, be cool. It'd be cool to see like a top tier a link to the past. Mm hmm. I guess, I guess they have done that with the 100%, but. That'd be cool. 100% race would be really nice. Was that all the games you're playing? Um, the other one is Four Swords Adventures, which I just, I plan to be kind of like a leader, and I guess Josh is going to be kind of a leader, so it'd be really nice to have the two of us kind of like, okay, everybody go over here. <laughs> oh yeah, how, how you know that game pretty well? Mm-hmm. I yeah. played it in single player quite a bit. Okay, cool, because, yeah, the previous years, I'm sure you're aware, we've yeah had a hard time with uh, people. Like Infiltration of Hyrule Castle. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Like, people also just sticking around for that whole game. <laughs> I think it happened last year for a long amount of time, but previous mm -hmm. years it'll play, you know, a couple of levels and then, oh, poor Josh. Yeah, I, plan, I plan to stick around for the game. That's cool, that's cool. So. so that really we're increasing, I think, the quality of Four Swords Adventures a lot this year then. <laughs> just by having two people who know the game pretty well is good. Mm-hmm. So that's that's awesome. So are you down for what about the the non game video games we got going on? Some of the weirder stuff. I don't think we've hammered out a lot of. We haven't really hammered out a whole lot. It's like I'm down for trying out like the board game because board game and stuff because I've never um, really experienced those myself. Yeah, I will say for the board game if like. Well, if you don't play a lot of board games, or maybe you just play, you know, Monopoly or something like that, it's fun. But if mm -hmm. if you're someone who really likes board games, the game is it's not I'm a that, casual for sure. <laughs> I could, I would like be worried. To, I don't know how people could be so good at Monopoly. I'm just like, okay, I just got all these colors together. GG. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, I guess. But yeah, the, <laughs> the, like, the rules and mechanics of the Zelda board game are understandably very shallow. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Sounds good to me, then. Yeah, it's still pretty fun, so. As for the puzzle, we'll see. It's kind of in a time where I'd really like to be asleep but <laughs> oh. in the current schedule, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe, maybe the puzzle can uh, n not take precedent over your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> And who knows, I might be wide awake. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty good addition uh, as far as, like, you know, it's cool a lot of the new people are, you know, making their own, you know, trying to make their mark here, but you're already going to mm -hmm. be coming in and just being, you know, you already have excellent times and stuff like that. So I mm -hmm. think I think you're going to add to the competitiveness in a very <laughs> positive way. Hopefully, Yeah. Um, outside of all of those activities, is there anything else you're looking forward to this year? I'm looking forward to just hanging out with you guys and kind of exploring a little bit. Because I know you guys go out once in a while and explore, like, the parks or some restaurant in Chicago. You just kind of need to just hang out with friends.